Thank you all for coming. Excited to welcome you all to the Kinsey Collection, one of the largest privately owned collections of African American history in the country. I want to introduce my mother and father where all of this kind of stems from. Together we do this as a family. I'm the chief curator. We have gone out all over the world and sourced the finest representation of the African American story anywhere. You got to know more about us, where we come from, so that he can know more about himself. It's about being accessible. When I was younger, I had elders that told me, we need you to push this story forward because we don't have a lot of black archeologists. There's inspiration that should be shared. These are Civil War era and Reconstruction era photographs. Incredible folks that knew that they mattered. That bust right there is an 1899 bronze by May Howard Jackson. And to indulge this passion was audacious. You're gonna do it at a time where you can be killed for less? It's absolutely mind-blowing. The Confederate Army was winning. They had advanced out of the South. What you get is recruiting posters, recruiting black men into the ranks. You have a different relationship to this piece. So I actually cited this piece for my undergraduate thesis. So I wrote it in the middle of the pandemic, never had the chance to see the piece in person. And my thesis really focused on this idea of what it meant to be a free black individual. And so it was really impactful to finally get to see this piece in person. This piece hanging right here is a letter as well as newspaper clippings from and about Matthew Henson, the explorer who was the first person to reach the North Pole in 1909. This one is near and dear to me for a couple reasons. By the age of 12 years old, he becomes a cabin boy on a ship. He's going to China, Japan, Africa, Arctic Russia. He goes on then to work on these expeditions. He becomes the first African-American member of the Explorers Club. I got inducted into the Explorers Club probably three years ago. We are a part of something that never stops, and we have a responsibility to push it forward. My students now, they could actually begin to do work to make these collections come to life in new ways. We're actively creating and curating what black history we are going to tell moving forward. <laughs>